Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I B began to be doing political commentary for the media speaks. Um, I don't get a lot of correspondence at this show. At least not compared to I think what other hosts get. I get a lot of it, particularly if someone doesn't agree with me or something. But a lot I think a lot of people get a lot more mail than I do. But it never fails that when I do get some kind of mail, it's always rather uh rather moving. I wanted to share this with everyone. Uh, for those of you that might not know, on the last show, I uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Awards show, we talked about how the song was banned um, oh, with Baby It's Cold Outside. Well, as you can see, this email has uh, had an effect on me here. The the, the story must have touched one person, to, to say the least. I'm just going to read this to you, and I'll comment on it afterwards. Hello, Stan. My name is Sam, but that's cool. I listened to your show, and when you said, I hate the Me Too movement, I really do, I took notice. I was put off by what you said until I listened. I fully understand and agree, though not for the reason that you may imagine. I was sexually assaulted when I was 19, and I thought at the time that it would be the worst thing to ever happen in my life. I got news for everyone it wasn't. The worst thing by a large degree that I have ever been through was waking up in the summer of 2014 and understanding that my husband was leaving me. He finally did so shortly before Christmas, so what you said really stood out to me. Looking back, I would rather be raped again than have to be hurt like that each day. The attack that I endured lasted only about eight or nine minutes, but this is a pain that destroys me each moment of each day, and has for four years, she means her husband. It is a fresh pain, far worse than the rape that greets me every day. I carry a handgun today, so rape isn't something that I fear any longer. This very misery, however, is enough, that's what she wrote, is enough to make me wish to use the gun on myself sometimes, but I won't, largely because he also left me with two kids. Rape has always been with us, and in all lands, and in all times, but America did not used to be like this, Stan, where husbands betray their wives and vice versa. Listen to the old Christmas songs. They were all about family and happiness. She goes on to say, I have a word of advice for those who may wish to ban Baby It's Cold Outside, particularly if they have been attacked as I was. I won't say get over it, because that's the worst thing you can say to someone who has been through this, but for a lack of better words, enough already. Those of us who have been terribly hurt would be well served if we stood up for against the real evil that is done on a far more frequent basis than rape. I, was, I wasn't the most perfect wife who was ever a wife, but I really never deserve to be forgotten or waiting each year to see if he is going to call me or my kids or maybe even spend some time with me. I think that this happens to women and men far more than attacks do. Some people may tell me to get over it, him, but that is like saying to me, fly or breathe underwater. He is my husband. And while I have dated a time or two since 2014, to be honest, I married him for a reason. It is for that reason that I say without reservation that this is far worse than any sexual attack. By that I mean that I don't think about that song when Christmas songs break my heart. Wow. I asked her if I could read this on air, and she said, uh, don't use my name. I was just being honest. So to just being honest, um, wow. I mean, just that, that's, that says it all, doesn't it? How did we become such a country? I don't know. To address her point, um, I was listening uh, with Christmas carols where I was at today, we're playing, and um, the uh, Holly Jolly Christmas, the uh, the, uh, the mistletoe, someone waits for you, kiss her once for me, 
uh, there's nobody waiting on you. You know, I, I get that kind of, uh, I get those kinds of thoughts a lot, but to have it articulated like you did, wow. So that's the kind of correspondence I get. I figured I would share it with everyone because it moved me deeply. Good night, everyone. God bless. And uh, during the 12 days of Christmas, I'll pick something a bit happier tomorrow, I promise. And...